INX. One of ARK's most populated Steam clusters, and by far one of my favourites. Since its release back in February, it's gone under many changes. However, this season would be like no other. You see, two weeks before the wipe, I received a message from the owner asking if I'd like my own cave, and obviously, I had to say yes. And so I figured, now would be the best time to get my autistic friend back out, and see if we could make anything out of this wipe, and perhaps get the chance to claim both our caves. Span of the opposite end, bro. Kits, star. I'll take this. 330 stand pretty The best I've seen. Go on, once the PT had finished taming, I then went out and got some more explorer notes to get some stamina into it, as well as get myself level 100 so that I can make heavies for the rest of the tribe. I then transferred off extinction and went over to Ragnarok when we experienced our first issue. Yeah, they are majorly fucked on Rag because I've transferred over now and I've lost pretty much all my stats so I can't move. Stats reset. So Ragnarok must have had some sort of coding bug, at least for the start of Wipe it did. As all the other maps, the stats were fine, however when we transferred over to Ragnarok 1, all of our stats were official, which meant we somehow had to manage to try and claim this cave, with characters that weren't necessarily ready to do that. Alright, beds, beds, beds down at thingy. So, while we waited for the servers to restart, I decided to tame an RG, as not only would it be something that we could bypass time with, it would still also be somewhat useful at the start of this wipe. Oh. I did it, let's go. Seven stun, uh, four, eight, 42 HP. Not amazing, but it's not terrible. Once the server had finished restarting, I then set up a little starter base. And once I'd finished doing that, I then went over to Extinction to farm up some electronics. Once I'd farmed enough electronics, I then came back to base and crafted up four more heavy turrets and then went over to our main base location to place them down. I then went AFK for about half an hour hour to get some food, and when I came back, I found out that there was actually a fob right outside our cave. Luckily for me, I was already outside the cave, and their fob wasn't close enough to the entrance to stop me from getting in. However, I also didn't know how far in they were themselves.
they ended up going down into the drop down and attempting to get in through our water entrance which they soon realized was not going to be possible at least not with prim flak so in the end they ended up donating a few more kits and then just left as they knew they weren't going to get anywhere so we decided to use this time to go over to center and run the alpha boss fight Let's go. Yeah, mm. I'm going to rocket the monkey. Yes, go, baby. Dips on me. Big Provida. Very good, very nice. Can I rock it? No, oh, I wanted to rock it. JJ. Okay, so I've just logged on. Uh, it is like 12 a.m. or p.m. I think. Um, yeah, it's not too early, not too late. Uh, all the boys are still asleep. Uh, I think I logged off at like 3 a.m. last night. But um, yeah, we got the boss done, which you would have seen. And we now have the tech turret set up in our main cave, um, as well as our craft station and everything, as we actually moved out of our staff base. Well, the boys did it while I was asleep. So yeah, this is what the base is looking like. Um, I believe we got 40 melee lightning weapons. Um, and I don't know what the prices are. I just know they're like 9k HP, which isn't insane, but yeah, it would do. So yeah, that's the inside. I don't know if the outside's changed. Um, got a Maywing and Manta in the water. We got loads of aggressive Tussos. Uh, let me just show you quickly. All the Tussos are over there. Um, <clears throat> so those Tussos there, most of them, are, I think a lot of them are already raised. Uh, some of them are still growing um, and they're just there to kill any aggressive wyverns that aggro and shit like that. Um, and then we got some more Tussos here. Uh, this one wants to have a walk, although last time I checked it couldn't walk. So this is the drop down, but bearing in mind all of this is powered by one tech gen, which is actually kind of crazy. Um, so yeah, the tech gen goes all the way up to the top, I think all the way up to here from uh, memory. Um, I don't know if Savvy has maybe placed another tech gen, it looks like it. Yeah, he has. That is uh, pretty good. So he's got the hallway partially built. Um, which is pretty decent so as of outside the front front we haven't got anything um yet i think i want to do a shandy um i'll probably stick one like here maybe or maybe one like here just hanging off so that it looks over this edge and keeps this area clear um but yeah i'm not sure what we're gonna do but I think for now what I'm gonna do is go and to run the crystal owls drops while the pop isn't the highest. Okay, we are on the crystal owls now. Um there we go, cry time is up. I'm gonna now fly over to the first drop and see if it's there. It should give me an indication of the rest of the route. Alright, we got our first drop. Let's see. Ah, that's actually decent because we do have paroses so we do kind of need that all right drop number two what we got complete dog shit and again oh well. okay third drop one is a yellow um i'm not sure what that will give i think saddles mainly uh pre-craft uh, 500 Jura boots, don't get me wrong, it's not terrible. Um, we don't need that Bronto side and we don't need the Gilly Mask. Right, this should be the fourth drop. After the insane yet again. Um, this is the fifth one. These eels are too close for my comfort. And they're running away. 
to blue drop, so this should actually go flag. Yes, let's fucking go. Also, yellow one, so this one should probably give pre crafts. Ooh, it's not amazing, but don't get me wrong. That will probably still get like 60, maybe even 70 armor, which early game would be able to do some decent damage. Alright. Uh, the Mega Ethereum is nice. I guess I'll take the Mammoth because they are actually useful. Don't need that. After running the BPs, I then went over to Genesis to farm up some Crystal and Fiber when I ended up coming across a Stego with 30 HP pre-tame. So I decided to quickly knock it out in the hopes that we'd get some better HP than we already had. I mean, 30 is alright in fairness. It could get like 45. Yeah, and then with Mutagen, that will go to 50. What do they take, kibble wise? Regular. Regular. Tamed. I'm not even checking the stats until I harvest this. I'm calling 39. 43. Yeah. But to be fair, what are the shop was then? It's like they use like 46 or something. 49. Yeah. Generally speaking, well, this is 49 is high for shop, but you can get higher. So the HP wasn't the best, and like you heard, we could get better just from buying them from the shop, which was kind of unfortunate. However, at the same time, it was still a Stego that we could use. So after taking it back to base, I then came back over to Genesis to do what I originally intended. to leave he left on two three as a steam name After farming a decent amount of fiber and crystal, despite my run being cut short by the 5 minute PvP cooldown, I then went back to base and then logged off to go out and get some food. However though boys, that is going to be the end of this episode. I do apologize once again for being so late with these videos coming out. It is the start of the month, so I'm going to try and challenge myself to actually stick to a decent upload schedule for the rest of this month and going on in the future. So uh, yeah, if you'd like to see that, make sure you leave a like. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.